While Hollywood remains at a standstill with simultaneous strikes from both writers and actors, one show was given the green light to continue shooting. SAG-AFTRA has granted The Chosen a waiver to finish filming its fourth season, calling it a, quote, truly independent production. The CW show is a drama that focuses on the life of Jesus Christ. Matt Mitovich joins us now. He's the editor-in-chief for TVLine.com. Matt, why was The Chosen uh, given that exemption? Like you just said, this is truly an example of an independent production. Part of the reason for a SAG after work stoppage is to make the big studios feel that work stoppage. You know, by ceasing acting, no more promotion, no more social media. A show like The Chosen, though, this has been crowdfunded since 2019. It's currently filming its fourth season. It only has two weeks left to film. So by telling The Chosen to stop filming, you're not going to make it felt to any of the big studios that are the targets here in the SAG after strike. So um, it's not going to make a big dent there. Um, are, right. are there any other expected exemptions? Is there any other case where you see uh, an exception given? No, this is pretty much the, the rare example. It's probably one of the few that we're going to see on the TV side. You know, there's independent films out there which might be applying for waivers. But as far as TV shows, because this is an independent thing, it's not backed by any of the big studios. So this is probably going to be the, the one rare exception as far as shows that are seeking any kind of a waiver to continue production. You know, one thing that I've, I've been seeing on social media, people commenting, is uh, for people who want to support uh, actors, writers, the strike, uh, what to do and what not to do. Uh, I wonder if you have any ideas of maybe misconceptions uh, that people might have. You know, there's some people out there talking about, oh, should I cancel my Netflix? Should I cancel this thing? Should I not watch this show? That's not the answer right now. And none of the guilds are calling for that. No one's calling for boycott of services. I think just the best thing to do is be patient uh, and recognize that, you know, tough decisions need to be made and that the, the actors and the writers, they're all fighting for very good causes, all very good reasons. They are seeking reasonable demands. So just be patient, give them your support any way you can on social media, and just uh, hope that everybody can, at some point, get back to the negotiating table and sort this all out. Because, you know, once we get to, like, September, that's when it's going to really start affecting, like, 2024 television. Right. Um, but, and, what needs to happen at that negotiating table for this all to end? Where do you see this going? The writers haven't been at the negotiating table since May 2nd when all this started. The studios have had no interest. So there's a big gap there to bridge. So it's just there. I think both sides just need to come there with reasonable expectations and hope to meet in the middle. And that's a, that's about the best we can hope for. The writers, you know, when that started, I heard that they were ready to go. They are prepared to go six months for this. And there's no sign that the actors are going to be, uh, you know, conceding anytime soon. So this could be, we should be prepared for this to be in for the long haul. Yeah. Matt Mitovich, thank you so much.